All right, hello guys, and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be testing out and making artwork with Crayola Signature Pearlescent Cream Sticks, extra colors that are blended dry or wet. So that means that I can use water on these. So I'm going to probably try that out. I did want to do an artwork in this sketchbook and the sketchbook doesn't take a lot of water at all. The only like paint medium that it really works with is acrylic that I've tried. I haven't tried like gouache or um, oil in it because oil takes too long to dry. And I actually want to get into doing gouache. I want the Hemi gouache set that, you know, the jelly Hemi gouache set that's, well, it was like a trend in the art community. Everyone was buying it. Our community trends are this weird thing, guys, where people will just buy art supplies and they'll become popular, and that's considered a trend in the art community, not like a meme or something. But the Hemi Gouache was pretty trendy in the art community like a year or two ago, but I didn't jump on that bandwagon then, and I want to do it before I go to art school, because I feel like that would be the best gouache set to have, so that I can have another medium option, because right now I'm pretty much limited to just watercolors, markers, colored pencils, and the occasional, um... Oh God, the occasional acrylic artwork, so I'd get another medium in there. But that aside, we are actually checking out these today. So the story with these is that they were originally like $17 when they came out. They're a little bit more priced than regular Crayolas, because Crayola did a line of signatures, which is basically a line of professional grade um, art supplies that they came out with around 2017. And I want to say like 2017, 2018, 2019, they were coming out with these. But the art community basically tried them out and then decided they were all mostly flops or were just kind of average to slightly above average. And so they stopped making them because they were pretty much made for like art community type people and the art community like called them a flop. They like from the videos I've seen, they didn't say that these were the worst art supply out there and it was like bad, but they just said that it was average and not much better than regular Crayolas for the price. Because regular Crayolas are already considered to be somewhat good, like the better of the like children's um art mediums that are available so i thought hey i'll try these out their signature but i didn't want to spend 17 dollars on them so i actually was just randomly in an ollie's which is like a bargain store um where i live near where i live it's somewhere to like ocean state job lot it's not really like a dollar store but it's like somewhere to ocean state dot ocean state job lot um if for those of you who know um it's like basically rebranded building 19 if you know what building 19 is that's a throwback but it's basically like one of those stores where they retail stuff so they'll get things that didn't sell from warehouses and then like sell it back for half the price but it's not like a dollar store because everything there isn't a dollar but it's like half price what it normally would be so i actually ended up getting these you can literally see here for seven dollars instead of their like retail price of 15 to 17 dollars depending on where you buy them so i thought that was a pretty good deal and i was like i should try these out and do an art video i didn't realize when i bought them that they were cream sticks which I think that means they're going to be like more of a um, oil pastel. No, more of a soft pastel. Those are the creamy pastels. So it's more like a weird soft pastel. I thought they were markers based on the barrel. But I realized after the fact that they were weren't. But that's okay because they still look cool and I'm going to try them out. So these are the colors. We have red, orange citrus, golden yellow, emerald, sky blue, blue, vi uh, blue bolt, sorry, violet, magenta, black, and white. Um, and then it says, Crayola Signature Plus and Cream Sticks offer 10 luxe colors in a smooth formula that's perfect for fine art or craft projects. These versatile art tools can be used dry or add a bit of water for blending. Works great for other effects like edging large areas, shading, and watercolor effects. So these actually can be used with water. I don't know if I said it in this clip or not, but I want to try these out in my sketchbook and the sketchbook that i have now actually doesn't work too well with water so it can't take to water mediums really at all it only really takes to acrylics it is the only like wet or the only paint medium that it really takes to is like acrylic based paint mediums um so i can't really try water in these so i'll probably tr test out the water thing on a separate piece of paper but i won't really do like a water-based artwork using these i'll probably be using them dry because i wanted to do the artwork in here and if you're wondering like oh why are you being so specific to just using this sketchbook well i'm really just trying to finish the sketchbook and in my sketchbooks i put finished illustrations and sketches so i'm really just trying to get this sketchbook done i've counted and i have about 50 pages left and once i finish this sketchbook what i eventually want to do is i want to take the best pages from this sketchbook and turn it into like a little mini book art book zine type thing and then sell it on my Etsy. If you don't know, I have an Etsy, but I'm not gonna 
I will link to it down below, but there's nothing really up there but a single thing that I put up as, like, a test, really, so, yeah. Um, but I do have an Etsy, and mostly what I want to do with it is I want to basically take, like, my favorite artworks and turn them into books or sell a few other things here and there, but mostly my most exciting ideas for my Etsy is literally just selling artworks because I have so much compilations of either photographs I've taken or of, like, artwork that I've made that it would be a shame not to put it in a book, especially since people always say they love my sketchbooks, and I feel like it is the thing I excel at the most, or the best as an artist, is having really aesthetic sketchbooks, so I feel like I could do something with that. It's one of my better ideas. I have a few other, like, Etsy ideas that aren't book compilation-related ones, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about the Crayola Signature Pro Lessing Green Sticks. So probably I'm going to open this off-camera, and then one likely what I'm going to do is cut to, like, a speed paint, of me testing these out or doing swatches of them in my sketchbook and then giving my first impressions like real time after that speed speed time lapse and then doing like a speed paint of me making a artwork with these um and then like voicing over it you know the usual type of stuff with a little bit of like real time discussion mixed in between so let me open this let me do the swatches and let me get back to you with the first impressions after swatches so i'll be back Okay, so here we have me swatching out all the colors. They were very pretty. The only color that I thought was kind of off from the barrel or the title was the red, which I thought looked more pink, but that's to be expected because red is typically, when it's pastel, it's typically just pink because red and pink are from the same shade family. Or pink, rather, is a lighter shade of red. Um, all the colors are super gorgeous, and I love the lay down. They were so buttery smooth. And it was just really fun. They're going to be so fun to continue to use and experiment with my sketchbook. Then you see here that I am pulling out a different art supply, which I'm about to explain in a minute. So we'll get to that. Um, at the top, I do some blending tests as well. The reason I'm not explaining the art supply that I pulled out is just because I explained it in the next live clip. So yeah. But I'm testing out the blending, and it works pretty well. I even tested it out further when I did the actual artworks that you're going to see later on. And then I'm testing the blending with the other material. Then here I'm just adding some designs so that it looks more aesthetically pleasing with all my other sketchbook pages, so yeah. Alright guys, so I'm back with my first impressions. So first of all, if you're wondering what this is, aka what these art supplies are, I don't really know what to call this art supply, but it's like a weird twistable oil pastel. I know I said earlier soft pastel, but they're really more like weird twistable oil pastels is the type of art supply there are a lot of these that exist they like activate with water a little bit and they're like in tubes a lot of different brands have them and they're just like weird cream sticks or oil pastels i guess it would just be oil pastels in a tube is really what these are is twistable oil pastels in a tube and crayola does two different versions of them they have the signature ones that i swatched here and i got done talking about in the first clip that we saw the these and then they have their children's version of them, which are actually called Twistable Slick Sticks. And that's Sticks, S-T-I-X, being all fancy and not spelling it properly like me gorillas out here. Ah, but, sorry, that was a bad reference. But, funny reference, haha. But what these are is the kids version of them. And I was like, what if I compare the two and see if they're better than the original? Because the Crayola um, signatures are not actually trying to be their own art supply. They're not like creating new art supplies for Crayola signature. They're basically just taking the art supplies they already have for children and trying to improve upon the formula to make it better for um, intermediate or advanced artists in the art community, like middle school to like an advanced artist in their 20s level of like quality for artists rather than like elementary school to kindergarten level which is what their original supplies were for and they're marketing towards the more artsy artists rather than the kids playing with their art supplies um with Crayola signatures and they're just trying to improve upon it they're not trying to make new ones so I was like what if I compare them to the originals and comparing them to the originals I would say these are far superior they were really creamy they felt really good but the original slick sticks literally felt chalky, like really chalky, creamy. And it was almost like they were dried. Keep in mind, these are really old. I actually got them from my grandmother's house maybe five years ago, back when I first got into art. I stole these from my grandmother's house. She was going to get rid of them anyway. And I brought them home with me. And these are the only ones that survived because a lot of the other ones got like hard and dried up. Because these can actually dry, if you see them, they look really dry. 
they're just they're not fun and I tried to even blend with them and I just found that the colors just sat on top of each other and smudged around they didn't really do anything these kind of just sat on top of each other a little bit too and smudged but they still made a different color in the middle and they still technically blended they weren't amazing at blending like you would expect from a really high-end thing like Copics or something but they blended well enough. These just didn't want to blend at all. They just kind of wanted to mix into each other and sit on top of each other with the darker color, obviously overpowering the, overpowering the lighter color. And you can see they're really chalky. They just, they didn't feel as good as these. These felt soft. They were fun to play. Would I say that they're really good art supplies and like go make your next like Mona Lisa with these? No, but they would be fun to play around with in a sketchbook, especially for the price. $17 is still relatively cheap for art supplies, but if you can get them wrap off $7, even better for the price that i got them they would be really fun to play with in a sketchbook i might do a quick test of them with water just to show you guys but i'm probably not going to use them with water um the one downside to these art supplies is they are really thick barreled like there should be like a smaller side somewhere but no they are really thick barreled essentially they're like oil pastels in that way where they're just really thick so I think there's pretty much no getting out of it. I'm going to have to do a bigger artwork with these, like a headshot, something big. Like I can't do a detailed thing using these. Sorry, I hit the camera. I can't do something detailed with these. You can see I tried to even write this and it looks really bad because it's just hard to write with these. I had to pull out a pen to write the names because they were, they just are really thick tipped. So I'm going to have to figure out something bigger to draw with these get some inspiration i might even go straight in with them and i might do multiple illustrations with them just experiment have fun because they're an art supply that would just be cool to experiment with to have fun with um not to like do something super professional with just to experiment and play with is what they're really good for and they're good quality for that like if you're looking for mona lisa grade no but if you're just looking for something fun to play with in your sketchbook great quality for that would recommend it gonna try them with water see how that works i might even see if these activate with water oh boy um Maybe I'll get back to you with what I think of them using water on, like, I think I have a watercolor sketchbook somewhere I can pull out, get back to you on what I think of them using water, and then make an artwork with them. And it's going to be a very experimental piece. It's not going to be something Mona Lisa level, wah, wah, but I'll at least try and make it somewhat aesthetically pleasing anyway, because I really do like the colors. That is the one thing I like the most. The colors are so pleasing to the eye. They just have a really smooth lay down of beautiful colors. So if there's one reason alone I would recommend these, it is the colors. And also the fact that they blend enough to be satisfied for like a sketchbook doodle or something. Not enough to like where you can get like the best blending in the universe, but enough to where if you were doodling and wanted to do some blending just to even it out, they would work for that. They work. I would probably say they're middle grade, so like someone who just is starting to take art more seriously would really appreciate these, but someone who's like tried every art supply in the world might have a different opinion. For me, they work, they get the job done, and they're going to be great for sketchbook stuff, so I'm happy with this purchase just based on these swatches. I feel like I can make something work with these. I can find good uses for them. So now without further ado, let me try out the water aspect of these and probably a watercolor sketchbook. I'll just do swatches, but with water and then give you final impressions on that. And then let me do some speed paints of experimenting with these and making some form of illustrations. But obviously, like I said, not the greatest, most finalized things ever, but this is a sketchbook for a reason. All right, here you can see that I'm doing the swatches by activating them with water, and I'm using my Arteza watercolor sketchbook to do this. This is a sketchbook I got like two years for Christmas that I haven't used. I got two of them for Christmas two years ago. Um, the colors are very nice. They're very soft, but I just don't prefer this as a watercolor medium over some of my other watercolor mediums. And you can see that these ones are very vibrant, but I'll get to that in a second. All right, so. so I am back from the time lapse, and I'm giving you my opinions of trying them with water. Obviously, I didn't do, like, a watercolor illustration, so I can't say how this works for a full illustration. But I feel like swatches are, swatches are a pretty good indicator of how it would work for a full illustration. Because if the swatches go bad, then indicator of how it would work for a full illustration. Or vice versa. Now... What did I think of these? In a shocking twist of events, I thought the twistable slick sticks did better with watercolor activation than the actual signatures did. I don't know if that's because the signatures were pearlescent. They do have other sets of the signatures. Um, these signature markers. They have, not markers, signature basically, twist, basically twistable oil pastels. 
they do have other sets of those that aren't pearlescent and I don't know if it was just because these ones were pearlescent so the colors were lighter to begin with but I felt that the colors here were much more vibrant. I wouldn't necessarily say they had better like watercolor pigment. Um, keep in mind I am not someone who's stupid with watercolor. Yeah, I'm stupid with my words including right now. I'm being stupid with my words. So I'm not claiming to be a good talker but I am not stupid with watercolor. I know how to do watercolor. Do I have watercolor? I don't know if I've done any watercolor in this sketchbook. Did I? No, this is a brand new sketchbook. I have no watercolor artwork in here to show you, but I have done watercolor artwork before and I've used watercolors before. I've never used like professional, professional grade, but for the most part, I've used pretty good ones. I have the Vincent Van Gogh-esque watercolors that I got off Amazon a couple years ago and I've used a few other travel sets of watercolors, pan ones mostly. I don't really do the tube ones. So I would say I know stuff about watercolor. I've used them before. I've done illustrations with them. And technically speaking, the um, signature ones have better like pigment, like the way the pigment looks. It looks better, more professional, grade-esque if you look at the pigment. But the vibrancy was actually much, much higher in these ones because this is the slick stick. That's also the slick stick. And that right there is me trying to mix the two slick sticks together. And you can see I did it there and I did it here. And it just looks so much more vibrant there. Even though it made like a muddy color. It just looks so much more vibrant. And it brought out the vibrancy of these so much better. So if you do end up getting the slick sticks. Even though these are like an old product that you pretty much have to buy online now. They don't really sell them in stores anymore. These are an old more like early 2000s, 2010s product. But if you do find these and you do like, I want to use them for art. They are worked best with activation with water because if you use them dry they're just awful which is a surprising twist of events here whereas i actually think i prefer the signatures dry and i wouldn't really want to add water to them because they're fine with water like they look nice and i said they had the higher pigment they're just not super vibrant and also it's pretty much with both products it's pretty much inevitable that you're going to be able to see the um mark you make underneath unless you get a plastic watercolor pan like one of those here i'll show you do i have one i don't know if i have one here we go unless you get something like this and you put the color directly on top of it like you scribble directly on top of it unless you do something like that and then activate it with water like so like literally what i just did Unless you be doing some be doing, I cannot English. Unless you do something like that, then you're pretty much going to see the mark you make underneath. There's no way to like wash that out with water. So yeah, they're not the best for watercolors. Like I would just get a watercolor set, honestly, instead of these. I feel like adding water to them is just an added perk of these that they're water soluble, but they're not the best for it. I would honestly just say that um, if you happen to get these i think they're better just use dry personally i don't really see the point in adding water to them unless you're like the only watercolor thing you have for a supply then sure fine but these they're pretty good with the watercolor i wouldn't say i'd go on my way to do it but if you happen to already have some of these lying around you can um get some new purpose out of them by adding water to them because they're actually more vibrant than these in my opinion whether it's because these ones are intended to be pearlescents or not I don't know, but I just prefer the pigment vibrancy of those more. Even though these, like I said, do look more like professional grade watercolor pigments more so than these. I just feel like the vibrancy, which is what I prefer with art supplies, vibrancy, bright colors, all that, was just better payoff. Ironically, with the slick sticks, which I was were saying were like horrible dry, but really good wet. So yeah, that's pretty much my opinions for talking aside. We are now going to get into the speed paint portion. I won't be using these for anything and I won't be doing any speed paints with them wet, but I'm going to be trying to do some speed paints in my sketchbook with these, see what I can make, um, see what I can do, see what I can come up with, just experiment, have fun, and I'm gonna voice over that. So let's do that now. And that's gonna be the rest of the video. So this is the last time you're gonna see me in real time talking. So let's get into the speed paints. 
All right, so here you can see me sketching out a bunch of hair. I know it really doesn't look like hair, but I was looking at a lot of rainbow hair pictures on Pinterest, and I decided I would draw that because I have a lot of rainbow pearlescent colors. But I don't really like how this turned out because it doesn't really look like hair at all, but we'll get to that in a minute. I know that I said that the last clip would be the last clip of me live action, but I actually did one more to talk about how much I hated this piece, so we'll get to that. All right, so this is my first attempt using these to make an actual illustration. You can see it's kind of very crude. It looks like something in elementary school student would do for like a project or some stupid stuff but it was my first attempt i really don't like how this came out i think i'm going to do another speed paint and keep practicing with these till i make something i find satisfying it was like this weird cyclops creature because one of my first thoughts because obviously i was looking at pictures on pinterest for inspiration and i was looking at a lot of like artistic hair pictures you know when people do like up closes of the hair or they do like just big flowing hair in the breeze i was looking at those and i was like what if i did like rainbow hair and use all the colors and it was just rainbow hair and then i also was looking at a lot of like eye pictures because i feel like eyes are something else that a lot of artists do up close so i was like it's this rainbow hair girl who's a cyclops not to be confused with my cyclops Lucy's, but a rainbow hair girl who happens to be a cyclops and has a giant eye and then the eye and the hair is the focal point but it just it doesn't look like hair it just looks like a mesh of just colors and then an eye in the middle of a mesh of colors i'm not super happy with this i think i might try a portrait for the next one of like a person like a realistic portrait based on like a pinterest image try copying that do something see if there's something there and if i still don't like how it's coming out then i think i'm gonna thumbnail a few ideas and come back with the final one so i'll at least have three ideas for this you can kind of see a little bit it just looks like fire over here even though it's more of the hair a little bit that I tried to take this, um, what is it called? Scissors. I tried to take the scissors and I was like scraping on top of the oil pastels because if you've ever seen, I'll link to him down below, but Black Bean CM, if you've ever seen any of his videos where he uses oil pastels, because these are basically just oil pastel in a tube barreling. So if you've ever seen Black CM's oil pastel videos with actual oil pastels, he always takes like a screwdriver or a sharp object and like um, scrapes away some of the oil pastel to reveal like a pattern or design with scrape away. Kind of like how one would with those um blackboard things, those blackboard art supplies and the little pencil and you scrape away. Like that, but he does it with the oil pastel to add pattern. And it kind of works with these, but not as well as I think it will with regular oil pastels. It's either the paper or it's the material itself. It kind of works. But I think the thing is, is if these don't stay creamy, they dry. Like, they'll be put on the paper creamy, but then over time they'll dry and become less creamy. And pretty much if they're not creamy when you're doing the um, scraping, it's not going to work as well. But I think regular royal pastels just stay creamy the entire time. They are fun to use for big areas and they're fun to experiment with. And I did have fun, like, experimenting and rubbing them on the page for this. It's just not an artwork I'm super proud of. So I'll do, like, a pan view right here so you can see all of it. There we go. I can't get all of it in frame at once. This is like the best I can do. Anyways, it's not an artwork I'm super proud of, but it like was good for a first experiment page. I feel like it gave me a lot to think about and it was like um a warm up almost. I felt like I was just warming up with this one. Yeah. I'm not super happy with this, but I'm not mad about it. I don't know if it like ruins the vibe of my sketchbook because like I was saying in the very beginning of this video, I want to eventually like sell my favorite pages from this sketchbook. And like I want to turn my favorite pages in the sketchbook into a book and sell them. I don't know if this ruins that vibe or if it would be included with that. Um, I don't know, because it's like a weird page. I like the colors. I like how like fun and experimental it looks, but I just don't feel like it's as good as some of the other stuff in my sketchbook, and I can do better. So I'm going to do another speed paint and see if that one's an improvement or not. And then, like I said, if that one doesn't work, my last idea is going to be like, I'm going to thumbnail something. I'm not going to go straight in with these, and I'm going to have like a full idea and then pursue that. But my next one, I'm still going to go straight in with these. Because that also might be my problem, is that I'm not sketching first. But this time, I'm going to go straight in with these and try and do a portrait. It's not going to be the exact portrait picture that I find on Pinterest. Because obviously, I don't have any, like, skin tone colors. But I'm going to try and, like, do an abstract-ish version of a portrait if I can find one. So, yeah. But for now, this is my first creation attempt. Weird hair cyclops girl. Um, we're going to work on the next one now in speed paint form.
All right, so here you can see that I'm doing a drawing of Dustin from Stranger Things. I'll put up an image on screen of the original photo of Dustin from Stranger Things that I'm referencing here. I think it was a season two photo of him, but don't quote me on that. I'm bad at telling the seasons apart other than season one because they all look like little kids there. If you don't know, I'm a huge Stranger Things fan and me and one of my friends were talking about how Dustin is our favorite character. So naturally, I had to draw him. I think this is one of my favorite drawings that I've done thus far with the cream sticks. It just looks so good and it proves that you can do fine details and blending with them and they can be good for Mona Lisa level stuff, just not like background stuff, more like portraits and things. You can get really good portraits with them. And I'm super happy with how this came out and i hope you enjoy it too i had so much fun working on this i felt like i just kind of quote unquote hyper focused while doing this and just got so lost in it for such a long period of time and it was just so fun to do and i'm so happy with the results so i hope you really enjoy them too and um i just want to say right now before the video ends don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys